Hockey 605, we're visiting with Coach Michael Freeman of the Yankton Miracle. Your girls, JV, just had a great game, Coach. Uh, yeah, they did. They came out a little bit tired and stuff, but uh, uh, that's kind of to be expected when you got to get up at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning uh, and go into a nice cold rink. But uh, they came around uh, after the first few minutes of the game, uh, started uh, livening up a little bit. Uh, came back in the second period. Uh, they were just a little bit off the second period. They came back the third period, played like they're supposed to. Yeah, they came back to finish that third period, but and they finished that second period. But whenever you get a goal in with 5.9 seconds left, you know you're doing something right. That's right. Yeah, you know we, uh, um, you know we kind of practice some of those things, but uh, you know we want, wanted to make sure we have a good forecheck, and uh, the forecheck I think really helped us a lot. Uh, better positioning than we've played all year. Uh, especially on those goals. Uh, the puck got passed around a little bit. Uh, they crashed the net, and you could tell. You know, when we weren't crashing the net, uh, we weren't getting as many shots on goal, but when we crashed the net, uh, they did a lot better. Yeah. Now, did you say floor check? I'm, I'm still learning hockey terms. Okay, floor check means that uh, uh, the defense has the puck in our offensive zone, and when we pressure them to uh, get a turnaround on the puck, and so then we get the puck back. Oh, okay. All right. See, I'm learning all the time. That's right. So, how long have you been coaching hockey, Michael? Uh, I've been coaching for about seven years, I think. Wow. Something, something like that. I can't remember. And obviously, you enjoy it. Now, how did you get involved? Did you, did you play hockey? Uh, my stepdaughter played uh, many, many years ago. Uh, the coach at that time, I wasn't looking to uh, coach. But uh, the coach at the time said, hey, I need some help on the bench. Would you be willing to come out and help out? Uh, I helped out on the bench. Loved it. Uh, hanging around the girls and stuff is a lot of fun. Uh, they have a different mentality than boys. They're, they're a little bit more social than, than boys are. Um, and they're a little bit more relaxed, too. Yeah, they um, they're not quite, don't have quite that intensity of, of anger sometimes, right? <laughs> right, that's exactly it. Well, obviously, you're getting, getting something from it. And a lot of times when you coach youth sports, you get so much more than you give. What are some of the benefits that you see in coaching? Uh, there's several things. One is, is that, you know, with hockey, there are winners and losers. And uh, you also are teaching kids that, yeah, you're going to fall down, but you got to get back up to play. Um, whether it's in practice, whether it's in a game, uh, you can't give up. Uh, the nice, one nice thing about hockey is that, that uh, it can change in a matter of just a couple seconds, uh, like most games. But with hockey, there's... Uh, there's that element of having to skate. There's an element of skill level that is a little bit higher than uh, than what you expect in other sports. Uh, you can't just go out there and run. You've got to learn to be able to skate and be able to stick handle and be able to play positionings uh, and all those other things that go along with playing hockey. And uh, that's one thing I really love about it. I love watching the girls uh, learn from the beginning of the year to now. Uh, we've finished the year off really strong, uh, which is good. That's what you want. You want to finish strong at the end of the year. Uh, you know, we had a lot of, we had seven new girls this year that had never played hockey before. So, Wow, that's, that's a considerable number yeah. coming out for the first time playing JV. That's right. Uh, it's a lot, and including, and then you figure last year we had five girls that uh, never played the game of hockey before. Um, we did lose two of them uh, this past year. So there's three girls uh, from last year that only has one, that have one year experience. We've got seven new girls this year. Uh, we've got a very, very young team. Um, they've came along very well, though. Well, with that kind of growth and interest in the girls' hockey program, it probably won't be too long before you start looking at a varsity program. Well, that's what we're hoping to. Uh, you know, from a skill level standpoint, we're just not there yet. Um, even next year, we're not going to be ready for a varsity level. We just don't have the skill. Uh, but we do have some strong younger kids coming up. Um, and we're looking at starting a U12 just to help them develop along a little bit faster, uh, learn some of the drills, learn some of the ideas and uh, concepts of hockey. Uh, in, a, in a girl's standpoint, um, you know, not saying that our boys' program is, is bad or anything, but getting them to play together more uh, is very beneficial for their uh, development. Well, it was fun watching them play today, Coach. Um, I know you have another game this evening. You've earned your way into the tournament. Congratulations yes. on that win this morning. Best of luck tonight. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd also like to give a shout-out to our goalie. Uh, her first shout-out. Uh, ever so uh, she's pretty pumped about that so well, awesome Thank we you. hope we get to talk to her too here all right sounds good um, I will grab them as soon as they get uh, get warmed up all right coach Michael Freeman of the Mir Yankton Miracle Hockey thanks for taking some time with us at Hockey 605 thank you Carol getting recruited by college coaches is more difficult every year there are thousands of other athletes competing for your position MyPlayerPage.com is the best place for athletes to showcase their personal and player information. 
Check us out today at MyPlayerPage.com. Any sport, any athlete, any state, any city, champions all.